Are you ready to war? Are you ready to fight? Are you ready to get everything back the enemy has stolen from you? Welcome to Warfare Strategies. I am your host, Prophetess Kimberly Moses, and today I will be giving you strategies for your breakthrough. Today, we are going to change your perspective about warfare. A lot of you guys are being attacked. A lot of you guys, it seems like the enemy is trying to attack your mind, trying to place thoughts of self-doubt in your head. Uh, the enemy is trying to attack your body with sickness. The enemy is trying to attack your relationships. Like the enemy is trying to do everything he can just to discourage you and try to stop your momentum through Christ Jesus. Well, I have good news. I want you guys to change your mindset about warfare and I'm going to just tell you why. All right. But before we get into this teaching and pray today and break those demonic attacks and strongholds off your life, let's play a quick commercial. <music> Are you a writer looking for a platform to share your work? Great news! Rejoice Essential Magazine is now accepting new writers. We feature people that are doing great exploits for the Lord Jesus Christ. Submit your article today at rejoiceessential at gmail.com. So, you are alive through Christ Jesus. You are anointed. And whenever you are anointed, that just literally attracts those attacks. So being that you are anointed, you are a threat on the enemy's radar. But that's okay because you know, I just know that every time God begins to elevate me or open up doors, you know, the enemy will try. He will try. I never forget where years ago the Lord began to blow on my social media page. And I remember only having like less than 2,000 followers. And it seemed like overnight the Lord just blew on it. And then it went up to 10,000 followers on one of my, one of my uh, public pages, Prophetess Kimberly Moses public page. And I remember at that time I was just doing what I normally do, you know, just work for the Lord and, you know, read my Bible and uh, just do what I normally do every week. And I just remember I had a witch astral project in my room. It was around like two or three o'clock in the morning. And I just remember uh, waking up feeling eerie, like an eerie, thick, evil presence is a weapon, literally. And I love, you know, the story in Second Chronicles 20, when King Jehoshaphat had, you know, three different kings or three different armies try to come against him. So what did the people do? They fast. So this is what we need to do when we go through warfare. We need to be fasting. Step up our consecration. Fast. They begin to fast. Seeking God. God, what do we do? And God dropped, you know, instructions through a prophet. And the prophet said, you don't even got to fight. So I'm telling somebody today, you don't even got to fight. Just praise God. You know, praise God. And they did something so strategic. Meaning that they put some praise dancers in front of the army. You know, who does that in battle? See, God will tell you to do stuff that don't make sense in the natural. But again, the natural mind cannot comprehend the things of the spirit. 